And in this lesson, we'll go ahead and uh, rig our face, rig the face of our character using the face machine tool from Manzavin Studios. And so we'll just go ahead and bring in our <coughs> our face widget, which is basically the same, sort of like the same thing as the uh, the setup machine, but we're not rigging the body here. We're actually going to going to be rigging the face. So as you can see, it brings in a template to to where we need to to place our rig so <coughs> we'll just scale it down a little bit here and try to get everything into place and this just takes a little bit of a little bit of practice and a little bit of time to to get the face machine to work properly in terms of where it needs to be set to to go ahead and rig a face um, it's not that complex it just takes a little bit of a little bit of practice and as you can see I'm bringing in the uh, the initial widget controls which are at level one which are the eye controls and let's go ahead and put them in place here and this is also going to do a, a pretty good job of actually weighting the face it doesn't weight the full head it only is going to weight part of the face which is I would say like you know from the front of your ear to the tip of your nose um, it's definitely not going to weight the whole head because you also have the setup machine in there and when we go to define the uh, the body joint or the head joint here it's going to read that and know that it's already been rigged with the setup machine so it's not going to you know technically weight the body um, it's definitely going to require some painting on the face but that's okay because we don't have to repaint the body we're only going to be painting parts of the face of where it's going to you know like emote and and move this definitely isn't for um i definitely wouldn't say that this is for you know full length animated characters um this is more for adjusting and adding to you know the blend shapes that you're going to create for your character so <coughs> I wouldn't suggest animating with it. Um, at least, I wouldn't animate with it. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Um, it, it can be done, but I tend to use a lot of blend shapes in in my character rigs, and I'll just use the the face machine to basically add on to that animation. Um, it's definitely an excellent tool. Um, it saves a lot of time in terms of you know rigging characters and doing it manually because doing it manually just takes so much time if you can basically save yourself a lot of time in the process of of rigging a face then I would say buy the tool um, I think it's like 199 bucks uh, for both of them um, I could be wrong I don't remember whenever I bought it but at the time I was saying to myself you know I I definitely need a tool to, to do rigs faster so it's definitely easier to do it this way and I'm, as you can see I'm just defining the the head joint here which is the head joint 3 from the the setup machine <coughs> so that when we go to rig the the face here it's all gonna get parented to the mesh <coughs> into the rig in a proper way and as you can see I switched there to the front view so that I can get a, uh, a window for for moving the controls but since I'll be doing blend shaping I can basically just you know move those later on down the road and it just takes a little bit of time here for it to, to calculate through the mesh um, I can just pause the video there because I think it took about 20 minutes to calculate through the mesh maybe maybe less and as you can see it, it it does a an initial good good job of you know rigging the face mesh here um, it definitely needs a little bit of weight painting but you can as you can see it's you know allowing us to to go ahead and move the face mesh and the eyes too but those eyes aren't really going to be, you know, up to my par. So I'll just, you know, I'll fix those in a little bit here. Um, 
as you can see the nose mesh is going to be moving the character as well and these red controls I would say you know like I said before they're just for like adding extra control to your your blend shapes and and your rig um, so you have a little bit of extra adjustment in terms of animation but for the most part it does a, a fairly good job of you know rigging the face here and we'll definitely have to be uh, paint weights for it <laughs>